Welcome! Today we're gonna talk more about GTA Online Heists. So that's Grand Theft Auto Online Heist. We're gonna talk about the release date. We're going to predict it with very accurate, accurate predictions here and uh, very good resources. We're gonna try and find out exactly when you would expect Grand Theft Auto Online Heist to be launched. So let's check that out. So what I've got here is uh, an article on Christian Today and they say that despite Rockstar's assurance that Grand Theft Auto 5 will be released to PC before January ends, some fans were unconvinced that the highly anticipated game would indeed come out on the said date. Now their fears have become reality as the game developer has already announced that the PC version of Grand Theft Auto 5 won't see the light of day until March 24th. So to understand and to get a better understanding of when we will see Grand Theft Auto Online Heist, we need to understand when the PC version will launch and when other launches have happened, especially updates and you know any you know very uh, well known uh, and trusted resources. So we are going to uh, see if we can uh, find out for you today when we should expect Grand Theft Auto Online Eyes to be launched and uh, as Rockstar Games official announcement on their site it's saying our apologies for the slight shift in the date but the game requires a few extra weeks come on Windows I don't have time for that uh, so sorry for that uh, a few extra weeks for testing and polish to make it as good as we can be Moving a release date is never a decision we take lightly and is a choice we make only when we know it is in the best interest of the game and our fans. Thanks everyone for your understanding and we assure you these few extra weeks will be worth it when the game does arrive in March. So they're all talking about the PC version. So prolific Grand Theft Auto news tipster and youtuber account user doms live this is the guy i already mentioned in my previous videos doms live and uh, with all his uh, you know very accurate foretellings of when games would be launched and so forth and so far he has been very accurate as once again proven himself to be a reliable source of gaming news earlier he claimed that the upcoming pc edition of the popular action adventure game Windows, stop this please. Uh, that the upcoming PC edition of the popular action adventure Windows game will not come out on the expected schedule instead of uh, he told fans to expect that the PC edition will come out as late as March tw 2015 which could add, add also that the online heist expansion pack will not be released soon. The wait will be worth it though because Grand Theft Auto 5 for PC supports 1080p on 60 frames per second with up to 4K resolution. Why is this website reloading itself? This is rubbish. Please website, don't, do not reload yourself. 4K resolution, triple monitor configurations and Nvidia 3D vision. It also has Rockstar Editor, a new feature for creating, editing and publishing gameplay clips. Meanwhile, Rockstar has, has assured PC gamers they will soon have not only Grand Theft Auto 5 for PC but also Grand Theft Auto Online for PC along with the much awaited GTA Online heists. Those who are using consoles will get to enjoy Online heists ahead of PC gamers though as the expansion Uh, sorry for that again. Those who are using consoles will uh, will enjoy online high state of PC gamers though as the expansion will be rolled out to them a bit earlier. Grand Theft Auto Online for PC which will support up to 30 players will launch alongside Grand Theft Auto 5 for PC and will include Grand Theft Auto Online Heist. Online Heist for consoles will be launched in the coming weeks ahead of the PC launch. So if we look at this what do we expect well we first have to look at one more article before we can say anything about that this is just general launch information on the pc version good news to all potential grand theft auto 5 pc buyers rockstar has just announced that those who will prob 
pre-order the Grand Theft Auto 5 PC will get free games and other bunch of bonuses. Grand Theft Auto 5 PC is priced at 59.99 euros or around 67 dollars and pre-orders start at February 1st. Those who will pre-order will only get a free game will not only get a free game but also 1 million in-game uh, bonuses like $500,000 $500, for Grand Theft Auto 5 and $500,000 for Grand Theft Auto Online. These lucky gamers will also get to enjoy another 300,000 bonus for Grand Theft Auto Online. Meanwhile, here's a list of free digital download games you can choose from Max Payne 3, LA New York, Grand Theft Auto epi episodes from uh, Liberty City, GTA 4, Bully Scholarship Edition, GTA San Andreas, Manhunt, Max Payne 2, Max, Max Payne, Fall of Max Payne, and GTA Vice City. Rockstar Warehouse uh, says that non-refundable 15% deposit will be charged upon checkout. Also, the free game code will immediately be provided. The remaining balance will be charged on the gamer upon the release of the Grand Theft Auto 5 for PC. Note that the activation code for the game will be provided through email. Rockstar Games earlier said that the statement that the release date of the GTA 5 for PC was moved to March 24 since the game needed a few extra testing and polish to make it as good as can be. It also apologized for the slight delay. Moving a release date is never a decision we take slightly and as here, yeah, why are you also refreshing? What is going on here with all these games refreshing? Moving a release that is never a decision we take lightly and is a choice we make only when we know it is the best interest of game and our fans. Thanks everyone for our for your understanding and we assure you these few extra weeks will be worth it when the game does arrive in March. It assures its fans. According to Forbes, the game was originally scheduled to release during the fall of 2014, then it was moved to January and now has again been cancelled. Here is what you need to enjoy the game as stated in Rockstar's statement. Minimum system requirements is Windows 8.1, 64-bit Windows 8, 64-bit Windows 7, 64-bit Service Pack 1, Windows Vista 64-bit Service Pack 2, the video video card requirements of running Windows OS operating system. Process is Intel Core 2 Quad CPU Q6600 at 2.40 GHz, 4 processors, AMD Phenom 9850 quad core processor, 4 CPUs, 2.5 memory, 4 GB video card, NVIDIA 9800 GT, 1 GB, and AMD. HD 48701 GB, DirectX 11, DirectX 10.1, uh, and DirectX 10. So, sound cards 100% DirectX 10 compatible, hard drive space is 65 GB. DVD drive recommends the specifications would be Windows 8.1, 64 bit, Windows uh, 8, 64 bit, Windows 7, 64 bit, Service Pack 1, processor Intel Core i5 347 at 3.2 GHz, 4 CPUs, AMD X8FX8350 at 4 GHz, 8 CPUs. Memory is uh, 8 GB of RAM. Video card should be a NVIDIA GTX 66 2 GB and AMD HD 78702 GB. Sound card 100% DirectX X10 compatible. Hard drive space 65 GB DVD drive. I'm also going to play this comparison between last gen and, and new gen consoles that you can also be interested in if you like. And uh, everything else is still the same. So while this video is going to load, of uh, I'm just going to play it in a pool browser. I don't want this website to keep on refreshing. Let's just hope this is not a boring ass advert which it is so yeah what I would like to say while we look at this comparison between old gen and new gen uh, well how can we say this uh, basically I believe that the online GTA online heist would if I'm correct be launched 
two weeks before at least two weeks before the actual PC version gets launched so I would predict and say that two weeks before the actual PC so we are talking about approximately March 10th around March 10 you can expect Grand Theft Auto Online Highs to be launched so if I'm correct and if I am right by saying this I believe that Grand Theft Auto Online Heists will launch in March 10th So uh, you can uh, keep my word for that You can come back to me and say Divan you were wrong or Divan you were right It's up to you That is my prediction guys And uh, I hope that I am correct Because uh, I, that is what we have learned so far Is that they've said that we should just be patient and it would be launched before the PC version and there's no coincidence that the reason why the PC version has been pushed back is because they need us to realize that ICE is going to take a little bit longer and that is why I'm convinced it's going to be in March the actual same month that the PC will be launching so uh, hopefully we can um, definitely see this become a reality i would don't, don't actually want to wait that long but it just seems like we don't have any choice rockstar games is playing a very um, time wasting game uh, they're playing a very nasty game regarding this because they've promised us since 2014 in the beginning it would be launching and guess what it still hasn't been launched so yeah that is all from me as you can see this uh, comparison video is very interesting i have to say i haven't actually saw this you know before so it's quite interesting for me to also see the differences in all the consoles PS4 and Xbox one they both seem like they they're almost close e close to each other PS4 seems a little bit lighter in texture Xbox one seems like it's got a little bit more extra features going on I'm not sure if that is 100% true uh, but yeah so that is all I can say right now is that definitely if, if I'm right and, and if you can take my word for it and you can come back and say Divan you were wrong as I believe game will be launching March 10th 2015 so let's see if I'm correct so thank you so much for watching this episode uh, I hope I am correct and I hope that we can um, as soon as possible get this game get the G Grand Theft Auto Online highs. At the moment I'm not at, as interested in the PC version. I have already pre-ordered my Grand Theft Auto 5 for the PC so you will definitely be seeing me uploading it on the night of it launching. So that's on the 24th of March so you'll definitely if you want to keep track of that if you want to be updated and see the first clips the first details of uh, the PC Grand Theft Auto 5 stay tuned to this I'm also going to be playing the heist as soon as it launches so you can also stay tuned for this as I will definitely be up to date with that so ciao for now